One of the things you will learn as a filmmaker is that you should shoot in log formats. This will ensure you get maximum flexibility out of your image when color grading it. What you often don't learn is how you should properly color grade that image. People will tell you it's hard or tough to color grade it and you will get the same sentiment and rather should in a different format. But the reality is it's very easy. You just have not been taught properly how to do it. In this video I'll be showing you how to properly correct log footage from any camera in any software. So the way log footage works is that it has a logarithmic curve. That's what log stands for. Basically instead of having a linear signal, it has a slope that optimizes the lows and highs and squeezes all that information that is in the top and the bottom into the middle, giving you a very flat image. Now what people often do to correct that is just up the contrast and saturation and then you'll be like, okay, it's fixed. But in reality, you'll be stretching a very large color space in gamma You'll be just pushing it without knowing the original values it's supposed to be. Now how you correct this is with an LUT, LUT, lookup table. Basically what a LUT is, it's a piece of text that tells your program, hey, this is what the values were when shot and this is what it's supposed to be. And then it converts it into the proper format. This ensures that the quality you get out of your image is 100% what you want it to be. Now I'm going to be show you in DaVinci and Premiere, just as an example, how you can use LUTs to, in your workflow to create a cinematic image out of your log footage. So first I'm going to be showing you how you properly correct log footage in a node-based software like DaVinci Resolve. After this I'm gonna do it in a linear-based software like Premiere Pro or Final Cut. If you use any of those programs, skip ahead to the timestamp in the video right now. So here in DaVinci Resolve, the first thing you want to do is apply your LUT. So we're going to go into the LUTs, S-Log3, go, go Sony, S-Log3, and then we're going to pick one of the LUTs. See what color you like. I like this one. So now we can rename this node LUT. Now we're going to add a node before the LUT node to make our corrections. A LUT expects the baseline exposure slash corrected image, which means you want a balanced image before you apply the LUT. If you do not do this, you'll be editing a converted color space, which is much smaller and is much less flexible than the original color space and gamma. So let's make two nodes here, one for exposure. We're going into the log wheels to make maximum use of our gamma. And let's lower it. I also think it's a bit warm, so we can go into effects. I prefer to do it this way, you can do it in any other way. And I'm going to be lowering the temperature. As you can see now, we have a more corrected image. And now you can also apply all the other LUTs and you'll see it looks fine. You can choose any of them, you want a cold one, you want a warm look, you want a fission look, you want an XGR look, internal, split. This one, this one, or a very extreme teal and orange look. I myself prefer this one because it's nice and soft. Now in the correction node you can also slightly correct your shadows. And maybe slightly recover a bit of the highlights. Now we went from this to this. And you'll see it looks so much better than if you try to do this manually. One thing you should make sure to do is to go into your file, project settings, color management, scroll all the way down and set 3D lookup interpolation to tetrahedral instead of trilinear. This makes sure the interpolation of the LUT is much higher quality and you will have less artifacts to worry about. Now we're in a linear based software like Premiere Pro and Final Cut Pro. Here we have a slightly different process of getting the right image. So usually what I would do here is not work on the clips itself with a lot, but work with an adjustment layer. So we're gonna add an adjustment layer, put it above the clip, and then add the LUT on the clip itself. So here we have the LUT applied on our image. And now we can make the adjustments to the clip on the clip itself instead of on this node 
which will ensure the adjustments happen before the LUT node, because the linear software works in layers instead of nodes. So here we can lower the exposure and also make it a bit colder. Maybe it'll get a little bit of contrast going instead. Get the exposure just right. And there we go, we went from this to this. And in the total image, we went from this to this. One thing you should do when applying LUTs in your project is go into the settings and make sure the 3D LUT interpolation is set to tetrahedral. And that's how you probably convert your log image into Rec. 709 with a cool look in both linear and node-based softwares. Now that was it for this video. I hope you enjoyed and learned something about log and LUT. The Nebula conversion LUT pack that I've showed you in this video and has been meticulously crafted to create the perfect looks right out of the bat for limited time will be lowered from 50 to 40 euros and you can get it for that price while the sale still lasts. Now there's a link to this in the description you can check it out and see you all next week. Have a good one.